Hey, Lady Fish, 14th of November, 2018. This is just interesting, okay? Very busy around here. There is no shortage of things to speak on. And, you know, I just hope everybody's hanging in there. That's all, because this world's just getting crazier by the minute. So, be in Christ. So, I see this article this morning. I had to share this. There's a lion cub found in a Lamborghini in Paris, okay? They found it on the Chumps LSEs. You know where that is? That's the exact same place that they just had this giant ritual commemorating the dead. And if you've never looked into Paris, boy, oh boy, from one end of that major LSEs road where there's an obelisk and a pyramid, that's one end of the road. That's the middle of the road, this monstrosity, and this is the other end of the road, a giant cube. Anyway, the symbology is just off the charts. But they find this lion cub, right? Right there. And look at this image. The lion cub, which I think of uh, uh, Judah, the lion of Judah, Jesus. But in the natural world, we think of Britain, okay? Britain, the lion. Okay, so they stopped this green Lamborghini and the 33 year old man. Okay, he, he insists that it's just a cat and the cub is named Putin. No lie. Okay, chewing on a piece of scarlet garment, if you will. Now, just think about that. Found on the 13th of November, right? Well, very next article I see is... Prince Charles is turning 70 today, okay? Now, this is just the weird stuff that I see, you guys. It, we could go so far into stuff, it's crazy. But just this simple little thing. We just had this giant uh, gathering in France with all these 70-ish leaders, right? And then we had the Peace Forum in Paris with this this symbol we could talk about for quite a while too but nonetheless and trump bailed early on this right as did netanyahu uh, they were all there you guys uh erdogan netanyahu putin i mean all of them right but netanyahu had to leave before he had an opportunity to talk to macron and macron was the one who was wanting to build this european uh army a ten-nation coalition of the willing, right? This just all comes together. But now we got uh, Prince Charles turning 70. It's Israel's 70th year, right? And we have this lion show up on the same day chewing on a piece of scarlet. Now, I don't know what to make of this, but there's something here. 70th year of Israel, Charles turning 70, which I find interesting. And the Commonwealth of uh, Britain is still quite powerful, okay? And he stands in line to be king. He's the Prince of Wales, which, incidentally, has a flag of a red dragon. That is their current flag of Prince Charles. That's just the way it is. And he's going to head the Commonwealth of Nations right now. It's Elizabeth, who is 92 years old, okay? And see her there in her purple, in her royal purple? And, you know, this whole commonwealth was established during another Balfour Declaration on the 19th of November in 1926. So what's that make that? Because I can't count. So this is just craziness that I see, that's all. And I know, because it resonates that there's something to it and the lion cub's name is putin really chewing on scarlet gee whiz i don't know what to make of this but i know it's something because there's just too many other things going on you got north korea reeling its its head again remember all this you know everything was in the bag you know everybody goes home happy but now you know not so much north korea is starting to uh you know, rear its head again. You see what I'm saying? It's just all coming together, you guys. It just is. And, you know, 
they're 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 worried uh, that they're going to resurge old demons during this Paris peace forum, whose main theme is peace and security, right? I mean, it just goes round and round and round and round. Oh, look at this, Job thirty-eight, right? One of the articles that I came across. I'll just sit here and talk to you guys for a little bit. How's that? One of these articles was very interesting. It says that uh, Woodrow Wilson, right here, Woodrow Wilson, who's responsible for the Federal Reserve Act, basically the final and thorough raping of the country, uh, he went to Paris to bind America's ties to the world, and Trump is there to loosen them. And immediately I thought of Job 3831. <laughs> Canst thou bind the sweet influences of Pallades? Or loose the bands of Orion? This is pretty crazy stuff. It's, it's all the spiritual war. That's all it is. It's, it's just across the board. Everything we see. It's, it's showing this all coming into manifestation. You know? And one day, it's just going to be here. You understand? I, I hope so. Because, you know, I don't know any other way to explain this stuff. You know? I see it. It's put upon me and my spirit to share it, so I do. And, you know, this is pretty wild. So, I hope you're all having a good week. Peace and grace to y'all. Keep prayed up, seeking Jesus, singing songs in your heart. I'm telling you, time is short. So, peace and grace to y'all. Any fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God,